All right, Shalom. This is the brother Malak coming back at you with this truth. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai, Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai, Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai. Call Haloyim La Abanawa Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem. I recall Kodash and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who well, peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect, the Bayath Dawada, the House of David. And uh, we're going to entitle this one, uh, We Must Stay Occupied in Prophecy. All right, so my first scripture here that I have here is Sirach 39 and 1. It says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. See, and that's right. And that's what we're going to, and that's what we're in. Right now, in these times, we're occupied in prophecy, because we're living in you're living in biblical prophecy. You got NATO and the EU that's going to eventually end up breaking up. All right, you're living in the ten toes. All right, partly strong, partly clay, miry clay. All right, okay, which is NATO and the EU, which is the beast. America's a part of that beast. All right, NATO and the EU. You see, so those those that's prophecy that you live in, in the prophecy, the time of uh, uh, the signs and the times of Yahweh Shai is coming. That's prophecy. All right. These storms and and things of that nature. All right. Hold on. I got something real quick as well. Let me read the rest of the scripture here. It says he will keep he will keep the sayings of the renowned men and where subtile parables are. He will be there also. All right. Okay. All right. So, we, as a matter of fact, I have this. Let's go over here into Salakia, Wisdom, uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra. Second Ezra, chapter 9, and verse 1. It said, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself, right? And the time diligently in itself, which is prophecy, which were occupied in prophecy. All right. As you can see, the news and everything that's going on around you, all things that are happening, it's all due to prophecy. Okay. It's all due to prophecy. Like I said, you're living in biblical, uh, biblical prophecy. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall uh, then shall thou understand that that is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And right, the most high is beginning to visit the world which he made. You don't see all the death and calamities and all the things going on. <laughs> all right, there's <laughs> storms and things of that nature and uh, uh, all these things going on, earthquakes in diverse places. All right, this is all prophecy. Uh, verse uh, 3 It says therefore when there shall be seen Earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world And that's what we're seeing Earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world Look around the full, look around the earth man Now Esau gonna have a blackout meteor On all the things that are going on around the world But there's a whole lot of things going on around the world man A whole lot You see But, they, but they're gonna put a, a, a media blackout On all those things that are going on because this man is a devil. He don't want to he don't want to have people be shaken up by the things that are going on. All right? It says then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of these things from the days that were uh, that were before thee even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest, right? And the end is manifest. You living in the end. Really the end started when Yahweh Shai came, uh, came on the scene. All right? That's when the end started, right? Because Esau's kingdom is now, but his kingdom will no longer be once Yahweh Shai returns for his uh, for the second time. All right, the first time, like like the first time he came humble. The second time he's not coming. He's not going to meet thee as a man, as the scriptures say in Isaiah the forty seventh chapter. All right, he's not going to meet thee as a man. He's coming back as an angelic power, a power that can't be stopped. All right, see. 
And that's what it is. Right now, the end is manifesting. And we know the end is manifest. Look at all the things going on around you, man. Everything happening. Death and calamity. Like I said. You know, I'll, I'll say it again. Okay? Verse 6, it says, Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. Right? And that's how you know that you're living in the end. Doing, uh, living in the end, doing the time. Uh, doing... Uh, in the times that you're in. All right. Same days as Noah's. Same time. Same things that are going on as the days of Noah. And I'm going to go to that in Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go there to Matthew. Matter of fact, before I go, yeah, let's go to Matthew, 24th chapter real quick. Matthew 24. Let's, uh, let's read up real quick and then we're going to go. Matthew 20. Okay, Matthew 24 and 3, it says, and, and he sat upon the Mount of Olives and the disciples, the disciples came unto him privately saying, tell us what shall, uh, what shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world, Right? And Yahweh Shai said, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. All right, I'm going to jump down. Verse 6, it says, uh, Actually, I read verse 5. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. Right, and that's what we're hearing. That's what's going on. Wars and rumors of wars. Things going on in the Middle East, as they call it. Right? See? Wars brewing up, trade wars, trade uh, trade wars, the money, all of these things of that of that nature, man. Okay, it says, "See that you be not troubled, for all things must come to pass, but the end is not yet." See, for the nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. See, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Okay. All right, so let's let's go down. All right. All right, let me see where I want it. Where I want it at? It's in here. There it is, right here. Start at verse thirty-two, Matthew twenty-four and thirty-two. It says, "Now learn a parable of the fig tree." When his branch is yet tender, and he put it forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh, right? See, and this right here is talking about when you know that, you know, your times, like your seasons, like the summer, spring, and fall. You know the things that happens before those things come. And this is the same thing that you equate to Yahweh Shai coming back. As you see things happening, that's how you know uh, that his return is not. All right? It says, likewise, it says, so likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near even at the door. Right. And true, it says, verily, which means truly, I say unto you, the, uh, this generation shall not pass till these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Right. So you, we don't know when Yahweh Shai is coming back. We just know the signs and the times and the things that we see. That's why we're occupied in prophecy. That's why brothers is always checking out the news. That's why brothers is always in the articles. Brothers is always reporting things that is going on. Why? Because that's that's considering yourself being occupied in prophecy. All right. On a daily. Okay. It says, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. That's right. Only Yahweh knows when he's going to send back Yahweh Shai. All right. Like I, now, like I was saying about Noah, it says, but as the days of Noe were, and that's Noah right there, were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking and marrying. Right. And that's what's going on now here in America, in Babylon the Great. 
everybody's eating and drinking and marrying and having a good old time. They're not worried about what's coming. They're not worried about the concentration camps coming. They're not worried about Yahweh Shai coming back. They're not worried about uh, 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 the microchip. They're not worried about uh, 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 a famine. All right? They're just living the dream, living it up, living good. Everything is going good right now in their eyes. But when all hell breaks loose and calamity starts to fall upon them, then they're going to wonder why. All right? The men of the Lord has been telling you this thing. For the longest time, but you you tend to close your ears and shut your eyes unto it, right? Really, the angels blinded you unto it and closed your ears unto it for you not to hear it until all hell breaks loose. And then that's when you're going to wonder where the prophet's at. We're no longer going to be on them street corners. We're no longer going to be able to put up these videos and these lessons for you to get these to get this understanding of this truth, all right? What we're doing is we have a spiritual arc that we're building right now. All right, and that and that and, and those chariots are coming to deliver the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third while the two thirds of our people will be destroyed here on this side, but ultimately come back in the kingdom of heaven. All right. It says giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right. Because they was all screaming. They was like, you know, they was telling Noah, to, you know, shut up, Noah, all that nonsense that you talking about. All right, ain't no flood coming. Ain't gonna, ain't gonna be no, no damn rain. All right, and then the next thing you know, bow dropped on their head. Rain, flood, flooded them all out, and they was banging it, banging on. You could just imagine they was probably banging on the ark trying to get in there. You know, that's gonna be the same thing. People are gonna be screaming and crying, and and death is gonna be uh, everywhere, man. And that day when all hell breaks loose, man, people are gonna be bugging out of their mind, man. You see, it says, it says it knew not until the flood came. And that's what we're telling them, that a, a, a flood of thermonuclear missiles is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming with chariots. All right, with, the angels is coming back with them. Okay, it's going to be super death out here. Famine, concentration camps, martial law, pestilence, FEMA camps, uh, 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 famine. All of these things we're telling, we're warning the people, but they don't want to hear us. They're telling us to shut up. They're telling us to sit back and open your mouth. What you're talking about is not, a, is not relevant, but what we're talking about is relevant. What we're talking about is going to come to pass. Thus saith Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? It says, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the, son, the coming of the Son of Man be. And that's right. It's going to be the same way. And we're living in the same time. All right, except doing it, except this is going to be the time of Yahweh Shai's return. All right, you see? All right, so let's go. Let's go back in here real quick. What the hell? Let's go back to Sirach. Let's go back to Sirach. Let's go to the 24th chapter. So this is Sirach 24 and, uh, tw and uh, 32. It says, I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning. Right, and that's what it is. Doctrine is shining right now. Why the, the elders and the apostles, starting with our elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. All right. Okay. And then us brothers who pushing the, who pushing the doctrine. We're making it shine on a bright on, on a bright scale. All right, by pushing these, by pushing these uh, uh prophecies, man. Pushing this doctrine. Because this doctrine is full of prophecy. Okay. It says, and I will send forth her light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy, see? And leave it to all age and leave it to all ages forever. Behold that I have not labored. Behold that I have not I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. Right. And that's and, and when you read these scriptures, that's seeking wisdom. All right. You're finding wisdom when you when you read these scriptures. This is this is what you call jewels. Hidden jewels, all right. Hidden jewels, gems 
that people, the, the, the precious gems and precious jewels of wisdom that you can only obtain right here in this Bible. Okay? You see? All right. So let's go here. go down to this is Romans 12 and 6 it says having the gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us whether prophecy let us prophesy according to the uh, proposition of faith all right okay first Corinthians 12 and 10 it says to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13 and 2, it says, And though I have the gift of prophecy and the understanding of all mysteries and all knowledge, though... All right, you know what? No, nah, I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I want this right here. 1 Timothy 4 and, 4 and 14, it says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. All right? With the laying on the hands of the presbytery. Okay. Alright. So. Second Peter 1 and 19. It says we have also more sure word of prophecy. Right. And, and we do have sure word of prophecy. Because we have faith. We believe that it's all going to come to pass. We believe everything that we read here in this Bible is going to come to pass. Why? Because we see it. Why? Because we have an abundance of faith. It says, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. There you have it. Okay. Second Peter 1 and 21, it says, for the prophecy, for the prophecy came not of old time by the will of man, but by the holy men of the, of the most high. The holy men of the most high spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right. There you have it. And then it says Revelation 1 and 3. It says, Blessed is he that readeth and, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Right. And that keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Right. And the time is at hand for America to be destroyed. The time is at hand for the prophecies to all come to pass. The time is at hand for when Yahweh Shai to return. Uh, uh, for Yahweh Shai's return. Okay. And for our kingdom to be set up here on this earth and us to rule in righteousness and while our enemies be underneath our feet. That's the time to come. That's the time that's at hand. Okay. That's the time that's at hand. I got one more, one more scripture and then I'm out of here, brothers. Okay. Give me the book of Habakkuk. That's what I want. Habakkuk. Two and one. It says, I will stand upon my watch. Right. And we're standing upon our watch. Okay. We're standing upon our watch and we're occupied in prophecy. That's what we're standing upon. We're watching. We're seeing the prophecies come to pass. We're seeing everything unfold before your eyes. And set me upon the tower. Right. Meaning we're watchmen. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision. Right. Write the vision. Make it plain upon tables. Right. Make it easy for to read these prophecies. Break it down the right way. Make it plain. Okay. It's not hard. It's not complicated. That he may run that readeth it. He may run that readeth it. Run to where? To the, to the lanes, to the highways and the byways. To proclaim the prophecies that are written in the Bible. All right. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but the end it shall speak. Right. It is yet for an appointed time. And, and we're at the end and everything is speaking. We almost at we at the end of this thing, man. Okay? Everything is popping off in front of these people's eyes, but they can't see it. Why are they blind to the fact? Their eyes have uh, their eyes are closed. Their ears are closed. Their mind is shut off. But the men of the Lord, their their minds are open. Their eyes are open. Everything is bright and crystal clear. Alright? It says, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Right. So you have to be patient. And we and brothers is being very patient. 
There's a lot of there's a lot of guys who have fell out of this thing, man. There's a lot of guys who are getting weak in the spirit. There's a lot of guys who just want to just go back into the world and live that old cushy life, man. But guess what? Once you put your hand to the plow with this thing, there's no looking back. There's no turning back and seeing what's in the world. All right? To hell with this world. This place is going to be destroyed. We got a kingdom coming that's going to be very beautiful. Where you're going to have an abundance of wealth, riches, and women, and everything that you desire. Okay? This world is nothing. Okay? World is This world is nothing. It's meaningless. It's, it's BS. Because it will surely come and it will not tarry. That's right. It will surely come and it will not tarry. Meaning the prophecies are going to happen. They ain't going to tarry. The Most High not going to hold it back. He said he's a man that he shall not lie. Okay. Matter of fact, let me get that one last scripture. Uh, and we're going to get up out of here. Give me that numbers. That's one of my favorite scriptures in the book of Numbers. Numbers 23. Numbers 23 and 19. Here it is right here. It says the heavenly father is not a man that he should not that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and he, have he spoken? Uh, and shall he not make it good? Right. And shall he not make it good? Okay. Uh, oh, hold on. Right there, you have it. Hey, so you know what? Right there, I'm gonna let it. Uh, I'm gonna let it be. I'm gonna end it right there. I'm gonna give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, I will call Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well peace and blessings and salutation to the whole elect, the Bayath, Dawada, the house of David. On to the next one, you brothers, stay strong, hold the faith, and Shalom.